If you want vibrant and glamorous photos, then start by adding some light. Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Don Academia, and in this video, I will be covering how to use artificial and natural light, and the differences between the two, and how artificial light will help improve your food photography with your phone. Do you ever question, why don't my photos look like these other content creators or influencers? Well, it's probably because of your lighting. If you want vibrant and glamorous photos, then start by adding some light. Let's begin with the best source of natural light. The sun. I don't want to brag about it, but here in Las Vegas, we get a lot of it. I mean, it's the best source of natural light. Even though we love the sun, there are days when it's too harsh for your subject, giving it hard shadows and causing it to be washed out due to overexposure. If you notice this is happening to your photos, grab something white that the light can still pass through, like a white blanket or sheet, a white napkin, even a blank piece of white paper. Put that between your subject and the light source to soften up the sunshine. Check this out guys, here's my softbox or diffuser so when I'm outside I can just lay this over, over my subject and it'll help diffuse the sunlight when it's too bright. For those of you doing food photography at home or in a restaurant and have access to a window but the sun is shining so harshly, I got these pleated shades from Ikea for super cheap. I'll put the link below. And if you haven't noticed, it's acting like a huge softbox. Super cool, right? If you're working with natural light, keep in mind that just like the weather, sunlight can change at any second. We have all seen it be super sunny one minute, then the wind shift and the clouds cover the sun. So some shots will be bright with very noticeable shadows, and some will be soft with very smooth shadows. If you didn't know, gloomy days are an ideal time for many photographers. They take advantage of these times because the cloudy skies acts like a huge softbox for them, and it actually accents a person's skin tone much better than artificial light. Next, let's talk about artificial light. Though the sun is our favorite light source, using artificial light with food photography gives you consistency wherever you go. At home, in a restaurant with dark rooms, day or night, you will always have full control of the lights. There are two types of artificial light continuous and flash. While flash is used primarily by professional photographers, continuous light such as an LED is a favorite among content creators and influencers. Yo, before I forget, that standard flash on your camera phone or DSLR, try not to use it. It can result in a really flat image, meaning there's gonna be less dimension to your photos while continuous lights are controlled, resulting in a perfect shot every time. My go-to for an LED is the ProMaster Ultrasoft 914 LED light panel. It's perfect for food photography and it's what I use for all my clients. This is a great choice for anyone wanting to improve the quality of their photos. I don't need any additional equipment such as a softbox because it's already equipped with that. Before you start taking pictures, make sure you wipe that camera clean. You can just use your shirt. I recommend a shirt at least. Get it nice and clean, get it smudge free. Perfect. 
To achieve the natural light look when setting up your LED light, set it a bit higher than your subject and angle the LED light to 45 degrees. This effect will be similar to the sun shining through a window. There's really no right or wrong way to set up your light. Just play with the angles of your camera phone and lighting to find the style that you're looking for. Also, take multiple shots. Even if you think you got it into one perfect shot, take two or three more of the same shot just in case. There have been times when I thought I got the perfect shot in one, but when I got to post-production, it was all blurry. So take it from me, it's better to be safe than sorry. Well, that's it for now. Have any questions? Leave a comment below. And if you found this video helpful in any way, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. The sun. Lights, lights, lights.